Hello out there fellow YouTubers and motorcycle enthusiasts. This is Ian. Um, quick look around the uh, CB750 that I spent this past winter rebuilding basically from the frame up. Uh, get some pictures here. Um, the 79 CB750. Uh, it's kind of hard to see from this side. I got the light on the other side. Uh, cafe racer seat courtesy of the previous owner. Kind of a backyard job there, but it's somewhat comfortable. Got a little bit of neoprene on there for a seat. Um, stock tank, just repainted it, put some pinstriping on it. Um, front end, I uh, sourced a complete front end off an 82 750 Nighthawk. Um, gave me the dual disc brakes and the 37 millimeter forks as opposed to 35 millimeters. Gauges are stock, um, just kind of clean them up a little bit. Uh, and yes, that is the correct mileage on there. It is a 15,000 original mile bike. Somebody obviously didn't ride it enough. Uh, tail section, got a, uh, a custom tag bracket off to the side. Vertical mount, haven't been stopped by the cops yet, so apparently it's not illegal. So let's just keep on hoping that stays the way it is. Uh, tail lights are all integrated into the seat. Uh, progressive rear suspension, four-way adjustable. Um, Rear wheels and the front wheel I got off the Nighthawk as well. They're uh, inky aluminum one-piece mags. Still got the drum brake in the rear. I don't ever use the rear brake anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it doesn't stop or not. Uh, rear sets, I sourced those off of a uh, Ninja 500R sport bike. Welded some brackets onto the frame when I had it tore down. Mounted the rear sets. Uh, pretty comfortable. Uh, it took a little bit of adjusting and finagling to get them just the right angle, but um, as they sit right now, I don't scrape toes or anything when I'm going around a corner, so that's always nice. Uh, like I said, front end's off an 82. Did a little bit of painting here. Um, rebuilt the front calipers, added some stainless brake lines. Um, replaced fork oil, just things you do when you buy a vintage motorcycle. Um, you can never have too many parts new on a vintage bike. It usually will break down on you at the least possible best time in the world when you don't have any tools or anything. Um, did some painting on the engine. It ran when I got it, but um, a little rough. Had to adjust the uh, timing and ignition a little bit, readjust the carbs, reset them. Um, all the red on the bike is actually just spray paint. It's Dupli-Color. Metal cast red um, creates a anodized look over bare metal. Uh, if you sandblast the metal first and then paint over it, it gives it a matte finish look. Um, you can't really see it in, in a video or in pictures, but the valve cover was done sandblasted and then painted. And then the engine casing covers were all just polished up and then painted over with metal cast. A um, little bit about the bike itself, got a 4 into one header on the front, not sure the brand because there was no tag on it when I bought it. Got a um, chrome muffler um, from one of the guys from the Do The Ton website, uh, real nice guy, sent it to me last year when I was going to go up to Tennessee to run the Dragon with a group of guys from Do The Ton, and my muffler was basically run over in the road after my clamp failed. So I needed one quick, and he was nice enough to send one down, even though he couldn't make it down there. So really good guy. Um, sent a little care package. Um, carburetors are not stock. They're key ends, but they're VB series instead of the stock key ends. Um, they're off a 83 uh, VTX, I believe, 750. Um, pod filters, as you can see, took a little bit of tuning to get those just right. Uh, you throw the pod filters on there, and you got to replace a bunch of jets and retune it and resynchronize it and all that good stuff, but it runs okay. Um, the frame itself was done in texture metallic duplicolor. All the paint on the bike is duplicolor. I sound like a spokesperson for it, but I'm not, I promise. Um, engine was done in 1200 degree high heat. Uh, gloss black duplicolor frame was done in texture metallic duplicolor all the red was done in duplicolor metal cast red the uh, the headlight 
is actually an aftermarket part because my original Stanley headlight finally broke. So I ended up buying a brand new Bosch headlight from Dime City Cycles. Great bunch of guys, just in case you were wondering. Um, around here, the grips are GP grips that I got also from, uh, actually I got those from VintageCB750.com, another good website, fast shipping and everything. And um, air assisted forks off of the Nighthawk, so I can adjust the uh, preload on those depending on how much air pressure I put in there. And um, that's about it. Um, rode her today for about 60 or 70 miles. She performed really good, handled good. And um, hopefully get up there again when the weather's nice and gets more miles on her.